Prepare for sappy love song in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Songwriting Challenge 2B. That's right, I cheated in the first songwriting challenge, and so I'm gonna make it up to you guys with not one, not two, but three songs, of which this is the second. And so you can consider this a songwriting challenge bonus song. Just a reminder, I am gonna keep doing the songwriting challenge as long as you guys keep submitting ideas. But since I am doing three songs for this challenge, it might be a few weeks before we get back to the submission phase again. So if you have ideas for a song that you want, don't worry, we will do it again. You will have the opportunity to submit. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you who are submitting ideas and commenting and voting. It means the world to me, and as long as you keep it up, I'll keep doing it. So as I mentioned in Songwriting Challenge 2A, there were actually two ideas that won with eight votes apiece, but this one I'd kind of already written a song for, so I didn't want to cheat again, so I'm adding it in as a bonus. So the winner of Songwriting Challenge 2B was Haley Abbas, and her idea was how you knew Nikki Baylor was the one for you. If you couldn't tell by that, Nikki Baylor is my wife. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Haley, for submitting that idea because it gives me the chance to talk about something that is very near and dear to my heart, which is, of course, my wife, because she is just the best, and this gives me the opportunity to brag on her a little bit, and what I'm going to do is share a song with you guys that I wrote for her uh, while we were in college and we were still dating. I don't know if it's exactly about the moment that I knew she was the one, but it was definitely a song that I wrote for her um, once I knew that she definitely was the girl for me. A vision of beauty, a paramount scene, more beautiful than any girl on any TV screen. You stole my heart when you took my breath away. And after all, as I recall, still have it today. The hands of the master, perfectly crafted, a girl made just for me. And I knew she'd be kind, and I knew she'd be sweet, and I knew she would be just so perfect for me. What I didn't know was how beautiful she would be. A perfect creation, an angel in skin. I knew that I never find this perfection again, so I fall in the waters of love, where I swim forever in more than enough. The hands of a master, perfectly crafted, a girl may judge. Just so perfect for me 
What I didn't know was how beautiful I wasn't ready for Just how beautiful No, I could not foresee Just how beautiful she would be Okay, so obviously I wrote this song 100% completely and totally about my wife. But if I could do a little 90s radio dedication, I really would like to dedicate this song to all of the young single women out there. Okay, I know that sounds really weird, but just hear me out. Because my wife is so awesome, she has made it a point in her life to work with and mentor a lot of young women. And because of that, I've gotten to see this rather disturbing trend in some of these young women where you're only valuing yourself based on the opinion of whatever guy it is that you're interested in at the moment. And a lot of those guys are total yahoos and they're not worth your time. You see, with Nikki and me, it did not take me very long to recognize that she was a very special person and that I was really, really lucky and really, really blessed to not only have somebody like that in my life, but to have somebody like that interested in me. Anyone who knows my wife knows that like, I have no business being with somebody like her. And so what I wanna to say to you, if you're one of these young women out there still searching for someone to share your life with is this. Don't waste your time with these guys that don't see how valuable you are and don't treat you with the respect that you deserve. Don't forget that you are God's creation. You were created by God to do good works. Not to just sit around and be pretty, but to be useful. God has a plan for you. He has things planned specifically for you to do because he thinks that you are a valuable, useful person. And if you're chasing after some guy who doesn't see that, stop because you are just wasting your time. And if you're one of these young people who is still single and still out there trying to find that person for you, I wanna leave you with this advice from my father-in-law. Don't get so caught up in trying to find that one person. Just go and serve the Lord. And if you do that, at some point in time, you're gonna notice that there's somebody right beside you also serving the Lord, and that will be the person that God has for you. If you are one of these young girls who is still out looking for that someone, I hope that you take my advice. And if you're a young man and you found one of those women, feel free to share this video with her. You can tell her that you wrote it and I just sang it for you. That's fine with me. If you guys have anything else you wanna say about this topic, leave it for me in the comments. I love hearing what you guys have to say about these types of things. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.